So let's go ahead and add the pickup system. For that, in the pickup and inventory folder, let's create a new C# -sharp script by the name of pickup item. You can name this script whatever you want, but I will leave this as pickup item. Then let's open this up. Right here, let's remove the start and update function. And at the top, let's create a header by the name of item info. And in here, we will create the variables which will contain the uh, item info. For example, the price, the item tag, and then the item radius. Okay, because we will have a certain radius for one item, and the player is inside that radius, then the player will be able to pick that up. Okay, so right here we will say public integer. Okay, and let's name this integer as item price. Then after this, we need another integer which will be the for the radius actually. So we will say public integer and let's name this as item radius. After this, we will create a public string by the name of item tag. And by using the item tag, we will know the difference if the player is inside the shotgun radius or the handgun radius or the UZ radius. Okay, we will know the difference by the by using the item tag. And after the item tag, let's create a reference to the weapon. Okay, so I will tell you what this game object will do but first of all let me type it this will be actually a reference to the specific rifle for example the handgun the shotgun or the bazooka okay or whatever it is and the reason we need a reference to this rifles okay in that variable which is this item to pick okay so for example if the item to pick is this handgun okay and the player picks this handgun then we want this handgun to be disabled or deleted from the environment because the player picks that up so we don't need that right there then because in most of the game when the player picks up any rifle or ammo or whatever then the rifle disappear so that will be the reference to that and after this we will create another header by the name of player info inside this player info we will be having many variables but in this lecture we just need a reference to our player script because on the player script we have this player money so when the player picks up any item we will deduct the money according to that item price okay and that item price is this right here okay so now we have all of the variables set up now what we will do we will now tag all of the weapons one by one so if we get back to unity okay here is all of the weapons so if we select the weapon one okay and let's add a tag from right here let's click on add tag then the first tag will be for the weapon one so let's name this tag as handgun actually let me make the g capital handgun then pickup okay you can take this whatever you want but if you are a beginner in unity then make sure that you type all of the names similar to mine or else you will get errors but if you know c sharp and unity a little bit and you know how the tag system and everything works then you are feel free to tag these weapons whatever you want okay you can change the name according to your own self so now i've tagged the first weapon by this tag which will be handgun pickup okay now if you click on weapon one let's see right here we don't have any tag because we didn't click save so keep that in mind as well okay that after typing the name of the tag you will have to click this save button so click save now as you can see the tag has been added now let's add another tag for the second weapon okay so for the second weapon 
as you know the second weapon is the shotgun in the line so we will say shotgun let me make the g capital okay shotgun pickup now we have the shotgun pickup as well now let's add another tag for the uz so we will say user i pickup or actually let me delete this one okay and let me add it again by the name of uzi make this zi small and then pick up okay after this let's add another one for the bazooka so we will say bazooka pick up so this will be all of the tags now if we click on weapon one let's tag this as handgun pickup select weapon two let's tag this as shotgun pickup let's select the third one tag this as user i pickup or uz pickup and the last one will be the bazooka pickup so we have now the tags added right here and we have the variables added as well now in the next video we will allow the player to pick up the rifles